say we're gonna get this word in our system on today our topic is woman break free we're coming from john chapter 8 verses 1 through 11 Let's go into a word of prayer. Lord God, we thank you for women's empowerment. God, we ask that you break us free from the bondage, Lord God, that is called in our lives. Lord God, let us be able to walk in newness in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so here we have in chapter 8 of John, it's, it's talking about an adulterous woman that is caught in the act of adultery. And so Jesus was teaching, and in the midst of his, his teaching, that the religious leaders and the Pharisees brought this woman that was caught in the act of adultery, and he and they brought them brought her to the crowd, and said, you know, teacher, what do you say? The law of Moses tells us that we're supposed to stone this lady. What do we do? And so Jesus he stooped down and he started to write in the dust, in the dust, and they demanded that he they respond to him. And so what ends up happening, he stood up and he says, ye without sin cast the first stone. So they were trying to trap him in whatever he was going to say, you know, so that they could use it against him in the future. And so this, this stunned the people. And so basically, you know, one by one, the people started to back away. The people ended up um, leaving and it was just him, Jesus and the woman. And so he says, where are your, Jesus says, where are your accusers? She said, did anyone condemn you? Anyone's going to condemn you? And she says, no, Lord. And then he says, neither do I. Go and sin no more. So basically, right here, that brings me to my first point. My first point is that you may not be caught in the act of adultery, but you're caught in something. Something's entwined in your spirit. Something is holding you bound, and you can't get rid of it. And so just in this woman's instance, she was her bondage, thing she was caught in it was in adultery and so what i want to encourage you on today is that yes you may be caught in something yes you may be having something entwined in your spirit but you can break through from it you can get out of this okay let's go to my point number two the second point i have for you today is that they tried to trap jesus and this thing that's entwining your spirit is trying to trap you they were trying to trap jesus because they were trying to mess him up and use whatever he said about this adulterous woman against them in the, in the future and so this thing is trying to trap you and trying to keep you whole trying to keep you in bondage because the enemy does not want you to succeed in life he wants he comes to still kill and destroy so he's trying to steal and kill your purpose by keeping you bound to something that is going to keep you away from god okay so my third point is that this lady was broken free. Jesus' grace and mercy broke her free from the bondage that was going to lead to her very death. So you have this woman that was, was if Jesus wasn't there on the scene, they would have stoned her. This thing that she was caught in could have led to her death, but because Jesus was there to her rescue, he was able to get her out of that. And he basically said to the people, ye without sin cast the first stone. And because he said that, the people had to reevaluate themselves and had to walk away like, like yeah, I have sin in my life too. Why should I stone this woman? Because I sin as well. So this is a inspirational message that I want to lead for you on today that yes, you may be caught in something. Yes, you may be trapped in something, but Jesus grace and mercy can get you out of that thing, that bondage that's going to lead to your very death. It may not lead to physical death, but it may lead to spiritual death. You know, connection with him. You feel no presence from him. You feel no uh, relationship with him at all this thing it can break you can break from from this thing and you can get out of it break free woman